Hello everyone! So today, I'm going to share with you about my experience of my third trimester. Third trimester that will be the 7th or the 8th and the 9th month of pregnancy. <laughs> This is my 34th week of pregnancy. This is how my belly look like right now. So just like the other pregnant women, I've experienced breech position of the baby. I've also experienced high blood pressure and high protein in the urine and high blood sugar, even muscle cramps. Muscle cramps the worst. And the last one is the Braxton Hay contraction. That's what I'm actually experiencing right now. Hello again guys. So as you can notice, I changed my hairstyle. I changed my clothes because yesterday I was filming and I had low battery and the camera died. So I needed to charge it. So I'm now filming this one the next day. <laughs> so let's start with the breach. About my experience with the breach. What is breach? Breach is pregnancy. Uh, breach pregnancy occurs when the baby or babies is positioned head up in the woman's uterus so the feet are pointed toward the birth canal. During my five months of pregnancy, they found out that the baby's position was breech but then the doctors told me that it was still so early so there's nothing wrong with it and it's nothing to be worried about but then during the 28th week i had another ultrasound and it was again breech so that was the, sta the time that i was already worried i was worried because they told me that if the baby will not turn so there will be a possibility that I have to do the cesarean section. I have an option to do the vaginal birth, but then it will be very very risky for the baby. So after that, what I did, I actually searched on YouTube. There are exercises that you can find on YouTube, but be very careful how you do it. And you still have to ask the doctor's permission or you have to ask the doctor's advice if it's good for you or not. There are exercises that you can do every day for your baby to turn. So I was really very anxious and very worried and very stressed out about those things. I've been thinking about what is going to happen or because they said that the baby might dislocate his or her hips because of the breech position but it is during the vaginal birth so that's why they said that it is advisable if you have breech baby it's better to do the cesarean after the 28 weeks came the 32 weeks of my pregnancy and that was actually after the christmas and the new year and i had my follow-up check up with my, my ob -gyne. it was worse because i had high blood pressure I have high urine in the I have high protein in the urine and I also have high sugar. So high blood pressure during pregnancy is defined as 140 or higher systolic with the systolic 90 or more. So if you will be asking what will be the risk of high blood pressure to you and the baby, high blood pressure during pregnancy can place extra stress on your heart and kidneys and can increase your risk of heart disease kidney disease and even stroke and high blood pressure also can decrease the flow of the nutrients to the baby through the placenta the baby may have growth problems as a result and for more information high blood pressure can increase the risk of birth defects regardless of treatment women who had high blood pressure during pregnancy were at greater risk for all types of birth defects particularly heart malformations and neural tube defects. And the worst, I also had this high protein in the urine. And higher levels of protein may suggest as may suggest a possible urinary tract infection or kidney disease. 
Pre-eclampsia may be a concern if higher levels of protein are found later in pregnancy combined with high blood pressure. Maybe you will ask, um, what is the amount of protein that is high? So, any amount of protein in your urine over 300 mg is in one day may indicate Preeclampsia. So, what is preeclampsia? Preeclampsia is a pregnancy complications characterized by high blood pressure and signs of damage to another organ system, most often the liver and kidneys. Preeclampsia usually begins after 20 weeks of pregnancy in women whose blood pressure had been normal. What are the signs of preeclampsia? So, the signs of preeclampsia are swelling in your feet like edema and in your hands and but aside from that you have protein in the urine and high blood pressure and it can include the symptoms can include rapid weight gain caused by significant increase in bodily fluid and abdominal pain and severe headaches it can impair kidney and liver function and cause blood clotting problems pulmonary edema, fluid in the lungs, seizures, and in severe forms of left untreated or left untreated maternal and infant death. Oh my God. Preeclampsia affects the blood flow to the placenta, often leading to smaller or prematurely born babies. The next is the high blood sugar or the gestational diabetes. Gestational diabetes is a condition in which your blood sugar levels become high during pregnancy. It affects up to 10% of women who are pregnant each year. There are two classes of gestational diabetes. Um, women with class A1 can manage it through diet and exercise. Diabetes for pregnant women is the most common cause of babies who are large for gestational age. If you will ask the symptoms of high blood sugar in pregnancy, you will have fatigue, headaches, blurred vision, frequent urination, inc increased thirst, and you feel your mouth is dry and you have you are bloated and it is hard for you to concentrate and you easily get hungry. High sugar in your urine is not good because it can um, affect the baby's growth. Also, your organs as a mother. So that's what actually happened to me, aside from the bridge position of the baby. And I get really stressed about it. Thank God mine was not that really high. I was actually on the edge already of going high for my blood pressure, my protein in the urine, and my sugar. I can still do something about it. The doctor told me, if you are a pregnant woman watching this, please um, learn from my mistake. It happened during Christmas and the New Year because I wasn't careful. I cooked food, I cooked sweets, and of course, I eat a lot of those sweets and other food. I actually forgot that I was pregnant, that I have to be very careful with what I was eating. So be mindful because you will regret it. Yes, you will enjoy eating while you are eating because they are good, but careful and remember that you are pregnant and you don't want to suffer and most especially, you don't want your baby to suffer. So after that, I did a lot of things. So I did the exercise for my baby to turn. tried to be mobile more and then I also drank a lot of water to tell you the truth water therapy is actually the best more than anything and then I avoided pasta and rice 
and I tried to lower down the sweets I was eating. I cannot actually totally not eat sweets because most of the time I am craving for sweets. I don't know why. It's maybe because I have a girl, baby girl. I don't know with your experience but with my experience I feel it like very hard for me if I cannot take sweet for one day. I try my very best um, at least eat few of the sweets every day there came the 33 weeks of my pregnancy and i thank god that the baby turned her head down i think also when i was talking to the baby she was listening i used to talk to her so that she will turn <laughs> it's so weird but i know she still cannot understand but they said it's very good to connect with your baby and it did really work all of those things that i have done work and i thank god that they didn't need to do um anything anymore to turn my baby because i am worried that they will hurt the baby when they will try to turn her head down so i did my very best and also my blood pressure went down thank god and also my protein went down and then also the sugar slightly so i need to work more 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 on my sugar this coming week i was happy that the result of the ultrasound was everything okay after those things that happened now there came the muscle cramp muscle cramps really is the worst feeling ever you will experience during your pregnancy muscle cramps happened to me during the 33 weeks of my pregnancy it actually happened to me twice and it happened early in the morning and i have noticed that it happened every time we go out with my husband for a walk for a very long time so muscle cramps or leg cramp during pregnancy might be caused by fatigue the uterus pressing the certain nerves or decreased circulation in the legs from the pressure of the baby on blood vessels. They might also be caused by the calcium or magnesium deficiency or dehydration. I remember shouting very early in the morning around 2 a.m. I think it was or 3 a.m. Shouting of pain because it was really very very painful. But then, it will go after how many seconds or not even one minute. You just, what I did is I just stretched my legs and don't move. And I leave it for how many minutes like that. And then after that, I try to massage it and it went. So when we had the 34th week follow-up checkup and the doctor prescribed me a magnesium vitamins because she said that i might have magnesium deficiency or electrolytes deficiency and she told me to drink more 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 water so actually until now i didn't have any more muscle cramp tomorrow is friday tomorrow will be the 35th weeks of my pregnancy thank god we survived i'm very thankful to god about it so this past few days of my 34 weeks of pregnancy I actually experienced the Braxton Hicks contractions and I was actually feeling worried during the first day I had it because I thought it was already the contractions, the real contractions and I don't want to give birth yet because it's too early and I'm afraid that I will give birth as early as 34 weeks or 35 weeks because I don't like the baby to be put in the incubator. Oh god, I hope it will not happen. I tried to search about it because it was the whole time i have i'm i was having tightness in my stomach and i realized that it was only braxton hick contractions because the real contractions it's actually non-stop and you will have um back pain now i'm getting used to it <laughs> during the first day i was panicking but now i'm feeling better but still i can still feel the tightness what i do is i just lie down or try to sit down and relax and it goes and then sometimes also i try to drink a lot of water and it goes but then it comes back again but that is actually a way of us women of our body of preparing for the real contractions so braxton hick constructions is a tightening in the abdomen that comes and goes Many women say they, these false contractions feel like mild menstrual cramps 
Braxton Hicks contractions may be uncomfortable but they do not cause labor or open the cervix. Braxton Hicks contractions are contractions of the uterus that occur during the third trimester of pregnancy. Common events that sometimes trigger Braxton Hicks contractions, for example, are increased activity of the mother or baby, touching of the maternal abdomen, dehydration, sexual intercourse, or distended maternal bladder. So right now, I'm trying to be very careful with what I'm doing. I'm trying to relax, but sometimes you cannot really relax if you have a lot of things in your mind. But I'm really trying hard to relax and do something else at home. Actually, to tell you the truth, I'm almost all ready with everything that I needed to do, that I needed to prepare for the hospital bag and even the things for the baby and for me. Everything's ready. So now um, I feel like it takes so long for me to wait for the day where I'm going to give birth. But I don't want to give birth early. I hope it will not happen to me because I know it happened to a lot of women. I pray hard to God that the baby will come out when it's time for her to come out, that she will be healthy, she don't need to be incubated, and everything will be okay. Thank you very much for watching this vlog. As you can notice, now when I'm to talking, I easily get a short br breath um, because maybe, yes, my baby is growing now. She's growing and growing. So that's why. Thank you very much for listening to this vlog. This is my experience of my third trimester. And if you have any question, please don't hesitate to comment down below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching this vlog. Have a great day. Bye! Thank you very much for watching this vlog. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit this bell button right here so that you will be notified for the newest vlog we have uploaded or you can also follow us on our instagram account right here and our facebook account right over here if you want to watch some other vlogs some other videos we have uploaded you can go ahead and click this one and click this one and click this one or click this one. Thank you very much everyone.